Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gary Wong from the Faculty of Education in the University of Hong Kong. I'm the Program Director of the Bachelor of Science in Information Management. Welcome to my admission talk. Uh, I hope that in this particular talk I can help you to understand more about our program, our admission requirements, and how you can get accepted to our big families in the Hong Kong U. As you know, we, our program is very unique and is a part of the big families in the Hong Kong U. And a lot of previous students, they enjoy being in our programs. And I hope that through my admission talk, you can feel the joy of our programs as well as the, um, you know, the, the importance of being in our programs and help your career go. As you can see, our faculty, of, our faculty of Education is doing very well. We are ranked in number four in uh, a particular ranking system. And you, as a part of our family, you will receive a lot of support from our colleagues in the faculties. You will have all the resources and all the academic advising and all other uh, support that we can help you to, be a, come, to become a professional in information management field. So why choosing our program? So our program is a very unique program. Um, uh, this program is particularly for those who receive their associate degree as well as the higher diploma in the related field. A lot of our students are coming from the library and information management, and some of them are from information technologies and all other uh, related fields who want to become an information manager as well as other um, you know, different domains, um, sectors who will make use of the principles, theories, and in information management. And we are also accredited by the uh, CLIP, one of the leading professional uh, body who, um, who support the information management professionals. So we are proud to be a part of these accreditations. And so our, our degree is the first degree in Hong Kong offering to um, the senior places students who want to study more about information management. And our program is particularly tailored for the uh, society needs in Hong Kong. Uh, and also we have a lot of uh, professional uh, support, uh, other industrial partners who support our programs. So if you, admit to, you are admitted to our program, you will receive a lot of these uh, resources that can help you understand um, the needs in the societies and how you can make use of the information management um, to help with many different sectors. So as you can see here, we have some of the sharing from our students, and these students all show a very uh, joyful experiences, no matter um, which background they are coming from. And uh, so I hope that when you are reading these um, uh, you know, sharing from our students, you are motivated to come to uh, become a part of us. And uh, so these students are going into uh, many different experiences. Some of them are going into the library, some are going into uh, even banking, business, education. So they have a very good experiences when they are coming to our programs. So I will, I will let you to read some of these uh, sharing uh, as much as possible and, uh, so that uh, you can have an expectations of who you will become uh, after graduations. So the aims of our program is to be informed with reflective practitioners in the information age. And we hope that we can help you to develop as an information leadership in our societies and help you to become a professional um, qualified uh, persons in uh, working in many different sectors. And our aims are helping you to uh, achieve these particular goals. And we have a lot of different features in our program that helps you to achieve these goals. So we are having a two year uh, study for you and these two years will also include all the core courses, the electives, participation in other courses in the universities, as well as having a professional practices um, and experiences where you will experience how to uh, apply your theories and uh, these principles in a working space.
So as you can see, the uh, eligibility to become a part of this program is simple. So all you need to do is you get a good uh, performance in your study in higher diploma and associate degree. And so with a good performance in um, your uh, previous degrees in these centers, you are qualified to become uh, one of us. And so since 2005, we are actually having about 300, 390 students um, graduated already. And in this upcoming year, we plan to recruit another 40 students in our program. So as you can see, it's very competitive, and we have been doing very well in this program. So here is the program structure. Um, so you are admitted to be the senior places, and um, so you will be admitted to year three, as well as finishing your study as a year four student. And so we have these information management core courses that you have to take um, as a part of the foundations in this program. And also you have other electives that you need to take. Uh, these are electives coming from uh, the professionals, experts uh, in information management. And you are free to choose some of these electives as you may in order to help you to understand more about um, different applications of information management. So other than the IM courses, you are also allowed to take other courses in the university as a part of the program requirements. Some of the common core courses that you can, as you can find in the uh, Hong Kong U website, these are exciting common core courses that you can learn and expand your knowledge beyond information management. And also we have the language enhancement courses. So these courses will help you to um, improve your language abilities and proficiencies, and also help you to become uh, competent in taking all other courses using English. So here are some of the core courses that we have in our program. As you can see, information management foundations, professional experiences, information retrieval databases. So all these courses are uh, also accredited by CLIP, so um, you can be sure that after taking these courses and get a good performance, you'll be ready for the uh, challenges and the, um, the requirements in our society. So beyond the, coming, beyond the, uh, the core courses, we also have these uh, electives to allow you to choose to, to expand your knowledge and to um, specialize in a particular fields in information management. And um, so students in our program enjoy taking these electives and help them to um, understand more about different applications and different part of the information management in their society practices. So another uh, benefits of being a BSIM student in our program is you can enjoy taking some of these master level courses in our another master program called Master of Science in um, Libraries and Information Management. Some of our students want to continue their studies at a master level. So we allow the students to take some master level courses and in order to help them to prepare for their future study as a master level. And so you are allowed to take these courses to enrich um, your background and prepare yourself. So as I have mentioned previously, so our students are required to participate in these professional experiences where students will need to be attached to one of the um, positions in, in the, um, the company where they will be able to apply their knowledge learned in the programs and to see how the professional practices use the information management in, um, in the different fields. So a lot of our alumni are actually supervising um, you know, the, the BSIM students and also other um, supervisors who are coming from many different fields who are willing to help you to, to see how they practice in, in, in the uh, society. So these professional experiences are always um, joyful and students are, are liking it and uh, they have learned a lot in these uh, experiences. So here are some of the organizations who have provided the professional experiences for our students. And as you can see here, we have a lot of these leading uh, companies in the society who are able to provide these uh, placements for our students. So I'm sure that if you are able to come to our program, you will enjoy being a part of it. 
And a lot of these students actually continue their career in some of these companies after graduation because of their good performance and their good experiences. So these are some of the career perspectives that uh, the students can take into. Um, some of them going into the uh, management trainees and some of them are interested in the banking, analytics, and uh, library. So our students go into many, many different fields. And uh, the successful rate of getting uh, good positions after graduation is, is quite high. So we, we have a lot of good support uh, from these um, companies who are willing to take our graduates into their field. And these are some of the profiles of our students in the past. And uh, students coming from these institutes in the sub-degree sectors are always welcome to, to join our programs. And we reflect that in our previous experiences. And also, these are some of the profiles of our students coming from many different fields. So we do not limit to those students who are coming from the library and information management. We welcome all the students from many different fields who are interested in um, the information management practices and come to our program. So these are some of the admission requirements you need to pay attention to. Um, so definitely, if you get a good GPA and have a good grade and all the performances, as well as a good proficiency in the language ability, so these will count into the, um, the admission um, requirements. And of course, if you are selected um, and shortlisted for the interview, and we will continue to find out more about your backgrounds, and you will be able to show off some of your good abilities and readiness to come to our program. So these are some of the application inf informations, and you can also find this information in our websites in our Faculty of Education. And I encourage all of you to go through some of these materials, some, some of the information from our prospect, and learn more about our programs. And we definitely look forward to um, some of your uh, applications. And if you have any questions about our program, uh, feel free to contact us, and uh, we are ready to um, meet you and also uh, to help you to learn more our program. And uh, hopefully, we will see you very soon. And um, as I said, if you have any other questions about our program, feel free to contact one of us in, in the program office. And thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, sharing from me. I will see you soon. Thank you.